Norman Doidge, The Brain That Changes Itself, Stories of Personal Triumph from the Frontiers of Brain Science. Welcome to the fascinating world of neuroplasticity, which has revolutionized our understanding of the brain. The Brain That Changes Itself by Norman Doidge explores the incredible ability of the brain to adapt and rewire itself throughout life. This book summary will delve into the concept of unmasking, highlighting the story of Cheryl Schiltz and her remarkable journey to regain balance. You'll discover how the environment and mental exercises can reshape our brains and even uncover the mysteries of brain maps. With insights on the brain's ability to affect our sex drive, change through imagination, and regenerate itself, this summary will bring you closer to understanding the full potential of the human brain and the power of neuroplasticity. The Brain's Incredible Flexibility Recent studies have proven that the brain can change and reorganize its neural structure and behavior through the development of neuroplasticity. This feature refers to the brain's adaptability to modify itself through changes in its patterns of activity. One way this can be achieved is through a process called unmasking, where one neural pathway is shut down to expose a secondary one that becomes stronger with repetition. The article gives an example of how Paul Bakwarita used an accelerometer to help Cheryl Schiltz regain her sense of balance, therefore proving that the brain can adapt and rewire itself through deliberate effort and stimulation. This realization is a significant breakthrough that shatters previous assumptions about the fixity of the human brain. With this newfound understanding of how our brain operates, we can work to improve our cognitive function and quality of life. Changing the brain The brain can be changed without gadgets. Engaging environments can modify the structure of the brain. This discovery paved the way for one woman to develop her own brain exercises to overcome her challenges in grammar, math, logic, cause and effect. Her efforts paid off as she mastered reading the clock. Brain Maps, the key to unlocking our brain's potential. Michael Merzenich, a renowned brain scientist, emphasizes the significance of brain maps in reorganizing our brain and changing how we think and perceive. Brain maps depict the parts of our brain that manage bodily movements and the areas that process them. Merzenich discovered that brain maps borders and sizes vary among individuals and alter according to their activities throughout their lives. Brain maps compete for resources, which can cause nerves to take over and used map space, emphasizing the brain's plasticity. In an experiment with monkeys, it was found that the size of a brain map can double and take over what used to be another nerve's map. Thus, as Merzenich points out, by training specific processing areas in our brain using brain maps, we can alter and reorganize our brain, providing the key to unlock our brain's potential. The Flexibility of Human Sexuality Our sexual preferences and tastes are not set in stone and can be shaped by various experiences and pornography. Brain plasticity allows us to develop new neural networks, strengthening existing ones and creating new sexual or romantic tastes. Critical childhood periods play a role in developing sexuality and romantic preferences, but they can also be learned later in life. The release of dopamine during sexual activities increases pleasure, which strengthens neural networks in the brain, and this can result in a new kind of sexuality or a strengthened latent one. As such, aggressive and sexual imagery can become intertwined and impact sexual preferences. Healing Through Repetition Dr. Bernstein suffered a stroke and lost the use of his left hand at age 54. After using Edward Taub's constraint-induced CI, movement therapy, he was able to regain movement and perform tasks he couldn't before. Taub's therapy was inspired by his experiments on monkeys and the concept of learned non-use. He believed stroke patients could still find motor programs for movement in their nervous system and that constraining the use of the working limb could force the injured one to move. Shaping is another technique that can incrementally mold new behavior effectively through repetitive actions. Dr. Bernstein's journey towards recovery highlights the transformative power of repetition and muscle memory. Taub's innovative therapy, inspired by his experiments on monkeys, upsets the notion of learned non-use in stroke patients and provides a glimmer of hope towards motor recovery. 
The brain is wired to adapt and change given the right stimulus and conditioning, and TOB's constraint-induced CI, movement therapy is a testament to this fact. By continually repeating basic activities like wiping tables and cleaning windows, patients with stroke-induced paralysis can relearn and reinforce their motor programs, ultimately reintegrating their bodies and regaining autonomy. Shaping, another technique experimented within TOBS therapy, focuses on gradual progress towards a particular outcome, rewarding every movement made towards a goal rather than solely for completing the task. Effective results are achieved through consistency and massed practice within a short span, incorporating repetitive actions in daily activities. Overall, TOBS therapy is a paradigm shift in motor recovery, proving the brain's malleability and its ability to adapt with the right training and repetition. Breaking the Anxiety Cycle Obsessive-compulsive disorder, OCD, and anxiety can feel overwhelming, but understanding the plasticity of our brains can help break the cycle. Brain scans show that the malfunctioning caudate nucleus is responsible for the persistent worrying in OCD sufferers. By voluntarily switching our focus to other activities, such as helping others or playing music, we can stimulate the caudate nucleus and create new, pleasure-giving brain circuits that compete with and replace the old ones. This understanding of how our brains work can lead to effective treatments for anxiety and OCD. Conquering Phantom Limb Pain Phantom pain is a debilitating condition commonly experienced by amputees. This extends to pains that lack any source in the body, including menstrual cramps and ulcer pains. However, advances in neuroplasticity have discovered a solution to this. Neuroplastician V.S. Ramachandran used a new method to combat illusionary pains with illusion by transmitting signals from the brain to the phantom limb to unlearn the pain. One of his inventions is the mirror box, which tricks the brain into believing that the amputated limb moves by showing the mirror image of the existing limb. Philip Martinez was a patient who was able to benefit from this method. After four weeks of using the box for ten minutes each day, Martinez's phantom arm and pain vanished. The Power of Imagination According to Alvaro Pascual Leon, a Harvard Medical School researcher, the brain can be transformed through the use of imagination. In one experiment, individuals who imagined playing piano showed comparable brain maps and skills to those who had physically practiced. This is because visualizing and performing actions activate the same areas of the brain. Additionally, imagining exercise can also increase muscular strength, as observed in a study by Drs. Guan Yu and Kelly Cole. The power of imagination has vast potential for improving performance and transforming the brain. The power of psychotherapy. The concept of neuroplasticity, the ability for the brain to change, is not new and was first introduced by the father of psychoanalysis, Sigmund Freud. Psychotherapy has long shown that memory is malleable and can be rewritten by later life events. Childhood experiences, in particular, play a crucial role in shaping our ability to love and relate to others. Psychotherapists use techniques such as free association to help patients uncover connections in their minds. Altered neural networks and memories have proven attainable through psychotherapy, transforming patients' lives for the better. Psychotherapy can assist individuals in understanding the root cause of their behaviors, leading to a healthier understanding of the past. The plasticity of the brain allows for changes in neural wiring regardless of age, as exemplified by the case of Mr. L, who experienced a transformation in his relationships after psychotherapy. The power of psychotherapy lies in its ability to help individuals understand themselves and their past, leading to a brighter future. Brain Regeneration The brain can regenerate through the discovery and use of neuronal stem cells and by learning new things and exercising. The brain has long been thought to be incapable of regenerating, but the discovery of neuronal stem cells has shown otherwise. These specialized brain cells can replicate themselves indefinitely without showing signs of aging, and they are found in various regions of the brain, including the hippocampus and olfactory bulb. In addition to using neuronal stem cells, there are other ways to regenerate the brain. By learning new things and exposing ourselves to different environments, we can increase the number of neurons in our brains. 
Physical exercise not only creates new neurons but also supplies the brain with oxygen, which extends their life. Engaging in mentally and physically stimulating activities can also help prevent Alzheimer's disease and dementia. It's important to note that not all activities are equally beneficial. Concentration-based activities such as learning a musical instrument, reading, and dancing are more likely to stave off dementia. By taking care of our brains through these methods, we can regenerate and maintain their health throughout our lives. Plasticity of the human brain The human brain is capable of miraculous transformations through plasticity. This also extends to mirroring brain regions, where a part of the brain attempts to control a function of a failed region. Neuroplasticity is exemplified by Michelle Mack, who has only a right hemisphere and no left hemisphere. Although Mack struggles with abstraction, she excels in memorization because her right hemisphere was forced to take on tasks that the left would have typically handled. Interestingly, it is possible for mental functions to migrate to the opposite hemisphere during a child's development, with specialization occurring later. This finding contradicts the idea that each hemisphere only performs certain tasks. By exploring the potential of plasticity, we can better understand the complex and adaptable nature of the human brain. In conclusion, The Brain That Changes Itself presents groundbreaking discoveries about the plastic nature of our brains and its incredible capacity to adapt, grow, and regenerate. The concept of unmasking and the inspiring stories of people like Cheryl Schiltz showcase the potential of neuroplasticity to transform and improve lives. Brain maps highlight the unique variations in each individual's brain structure and function, and how activities throughout our lifetimes impact these maps. Additionally, we've learned that mental exercises, stimulating environments, and even imagination can play a crucial role in reshaping our brains. From anxiety relief to muscle strengthening, neuroplasticity holds the promise of unlocking previously unimaginable possibilities for human development and healing.